Hey everybody, how are you doing? It's me again, Oh My Rod. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm coming at you with the third and final video for the Land of the Lost trilogy. And this is, of course, the third season and the final season, unfortunately. Uh, this show ended in 1976 with three seasons. And the interesting part about season three is that there was a bit of a change up in, with the characters. Uh, Will and Holly remained, but Rick, their dad, that was uh, that was uh, played by Spencer Mulli Milligan, he ended up leaving the show, and they replaced him with Ron Harper's character, Uncle Jack. <laughs> and so Uncle Jack lands in the Land of the Lost while Rick uh, Marshall leaves Land of the Lost, and so. In this season, in this season alone, you get to see Will and Holly uh, be with their uncle and not their dad. Of course, all the other characters, um, such as Enoch, uh, the Bakuni, Chaka, they stay the same. And of course, there's also uh, interesting little minute characters. Season 3 has two, uh, has two DVDs, and um, it has 13 episodes again. And it's actually one of the most, honestly, one of the most interesting and very peculiar seasons of the whole show. Um, what I really liked about this season is that they got into a lot of um, mythology and even sort of um, what was it? historical stories, so to speak. So, for example, in Season 7, The Flying Dutchman, which is actually one of my favorite episodes off this season, uh, a ship enters in, and it turns out that it is the Flying Dutchman that was uh, capsized off the coast of Africa. And in the show, uh, the show, in the show, bleh, in the show, the goat, uh, the ship lands in the land of the lost, and then at the end leaves. But it's a very, very well done episode. Um, Abominable Snowman, that, that was very interesting. They go into a snowy part of the Land of the Lost, and they come across a Yeti. Ancient Guardian, uh, pretty much the same thing, except this time they disrupt a, a Slee Stack item, which is a statue that keeps this monster at bay. And then it turns out it's a sort of a Yeti creature that terrorizes the whole the valley. Medicine Man, that was an interesting one. That was about a uh, Native American uh, warrior and a U.S. cavalry troop, that a uh, soldier that both get lo stuck in the land of the lost and they have to uh, put aside their differences to work together. Um, a few other ones. The Orb was interesting, that one. That one was pretty interesting. It makes Will invisible, and so he uses his power for a little bit, but probably Medusa is definitely... One of the top three for me. Medusa was a really good one. Um, <clears throat> they try to escape. They build a raft. And then Holly ends up in a place where she comes across this mysterious woman. And of course the woman turns out to be Medusa. And she wants to turn Holly into stone. And she wants to uh, entertain her for a while. And, of course, Uncle Jack and Will have to come to her rescue. And there they have all kinds of encounters with not just Medusa, but Medusa's garden. And as they walk through the garden, they see things that um, they recognize. Such as dinosaurs turned to stone. There's a Confederate soldier from a previous season that, unfortunately, ends up in her garden. Um... With that being said, this was definitely a really, really good season. Uh, it's a shame, in my opinion, that they didn't get a fourth season because I really would have loved to see them have a way out of the Land of the Lost and maybe even at least have one more season with uh, Uncle Jack because um, Spencer Milligan did a really good job as, uh, as Rick Marshall, but I just feel like they didn't really give Ron Harper... Um, really just, I don't think they, they, I don't say they did him dirty, but it just felt like they really didn't give him a lot of time to really develop his character. He was just kind of in and out, so to speak. He was here for a season and then gone and that was it. And so it was kind of a shame to not see Uncle Jack, you know, um, develop the way I saw Rick develop. 
in the first two seasons before leaving uh, in the third season and then Uncle Jack replacing him. But, hey, you know what? It is what it is. I mean, I think we can do about it now. I mean, hopefully, maybe, you know, maybe somebody can, like, bring back this show. That would be really cool, I think, you know? Then again, maybe maybe it's not a good idea. I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you guys like to see a reboot of Land of the Lost? I know they did, uh... They tried doing that back in the 90s with Nickelodeon, and then, of course, in 2009, they did a movie with Will Ferrell, Land of the Lost. But, I don't know. I would like to see, I would like to see a reboot, maybe. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment sections below. That's going to be it for this uh, show, and I hope you all have a good one. Take care.